The Council of Nicaea, I believe. Yeah, the Council of Nicaea, what? They created the Trinity? The Council of Nicaea did not create the Trinity. The Council of Nicaea was addressing a heresy known as Arianism. There was a priest in Alexandria, Egypt named Arius. He started teaching that Jesus is the first creature of God the Father, through whom everything else was made, including the Holy Spirit, that Jesus created the Holy Spirit. And he also believed that when Jesus became man, he didn't have a human spirit. Now, when Arius started spreading this teaching, those who always affirm the full deity of Christ opposed him, and a great split occurred in the church where they came to blows and they started killing each other. Not just Trinitarians, but also Arians killed Trinitarians and vice versa. They're a very passionate, violent group. Constantine, around the year 312, had a vision in which he saw the sign of the cross. A voice told him, by this sign, you will conquer your enemies. So he put the cross as a sign on the shields and he conquered his enemies. And he realized that the cross pointed to Christianity because the cross represented Jesus' death on the cross for our salvation. So then he embraced Christianity and made it the official religion of the state. But he saw the Christians were divided and coming to blows and even killing each other. So he wanted to maintain order in his empire because he knew a divided empire cannot stand. So if his citizens are fighting with each other over the issue of Jesus, then it's only a matter of time that Rome will collapse. So he convened a council in Turkey, it's called Nicaea, and he's saying, come here and settle your dispute. He didn't impose the Trinity. He didn't enter the debate. He convened it and allowed the bishops and the priests to debate. According to tradition, there was about 318 bishops. And so it came down to Arius and his followers and the Trinitarians championed by Athanasius. And in the council, they argued from scripture. If anyone knows their history, they were quoting the Bible. And Athanasius soundly refuted Arius from the Bible because he couldn't refute what Athanasius was saying from the Bible. Why don't they mention that part?